Something patients ask me all the time, and anyone who's passing by my office and happens to look on my desk, why do you always draw this diagram for your patients? Why don't you just show them, you know, a fancy diagram from a textbook? I do it for the same reason that I personally planned out and designed every illustration for the Lucky Egg book, because understanding your body and your anatomy is key to understanding why we do the tests we do and how procedures are done. This knowledge can make you feel more in control and at ease about your treatment. Let's take a look at the fancy diagram. So this is the vaginal canal leading to the cervix and the inner cavity of the uterus. And then out here is the fallopian tube pulled all the way up high and the ovary. Now let me show you in reality where the ovaries sit. Here's the vaginal canal leading to the uterus and the fallopian tubes kind of hang low down and they do have lateral attachments to the pelvic side wall. But overall, the ovaries are very low down and they actually sit right on top or on either side of the vaginal canal. And you see these bubbles, these little bubbles are all of the baseline follicles and when you stimulate them, those bubbles get bigger and the eggs that float inside are maturing. The location of the ovaries and the eggs they contain in relation to the vaginal wall is what makes it so easy to do an egg retrieval safely and quickly. If you see this ultrasound probe here, there's a needle guide attached, and under ultrasound guidance, we're able to put the needle through the vaginal wall directly into the adjacent ovary. If this textbook depiction of our anatomy was actually accurate, it would make going through an egg retrieval a lot more daunting because you'd be looking at the needle needing to traverse all of this distance to get up to this ovary with all of this potential space and the potential for intervening structures and blood vessels and other things to get in the way. Now everyone's anatomy is different and sometimes you can have scar tissue or prior surgeries that lead to your ovaries being a little bit higher and often while you're sleeping at time of egg retrieval we may apply gentle abdominal pressure to bring the ovaries closer so they're more accessible and the procedure is done in a safe manner. In order to understand your fertility and your treatment options accurately so that you can make the best decision for yourself it's important to distinguish between theory and reality and sometimes that means making an amateur drawing.